Hello and welcome back to Real English with Real Teachers with myself, Charlie, and Harry. How are you doing? Really good, really good, Chaz. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. I'm ready to learn some phrasal verbs in stories. Me too, yeah. English is absolutely full of phrasal verbs. We think that you need to know as many of them as possible so that you can get by in English. Welcome to Real English with Real Teachers with Harry and Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, before we before we get going, uh, are you really going to record a video like this? That you think you look a bit a bit scruffy? What? Oh, do you go? Do you think I need to go spruce up? I think, uh, yeah, I think you should spruce up. I mean, look at me, I'm wearing a nice shirt and you're just looking a bit, looking a bit shabby. Is that to your satisfaction, sir? Have I spruced up enough now? Yeah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. So Charlie has spruced up to spruce up. That's a nice one, isn't it, Charlie? What does that mean? It means to get neater or to improve your appearance. So if you are looking a little bit worse for wear or a little bit um, less impressive than you should, then you can say, oh, I need to spruce up and go put a shirt on. Uh, maybe if you're going to a wedding or if you're recording a YouTube video and you want people to look at you and think, oh, Charlie looks nice and formal, then you need to spruce up. <laughs> I hope they look at me thinking, he looks nice and formal from my YouTube video. <laughs> you do, you look nice. Maybe I should do my top button up, spruce, spruce up a bit. Oh, so is, is top button even more spruced up? I, yeah, I think it is. I think it is. So, uh, Charlie, you know I've started going to the gym again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I am, I am being really careful not to injure myself, but I am trying to bulk up a bit because I, uh, I, I'm aware that I look quite weedy, especially in t-shirts, and I want to fill out the, the sleeves a bit more. So I'm, I'm really looking to, to bulk up. You want to bulk up? Okay. So you're, you're thinking at the moment, you look too thin, too thin, and you need to get big. Exactly, yeah. Ah, okay. And if I was to eat lots of cake, would I be bulking up? Mm, no, you'd be putting on fat, so you wouldn't be bulking up, because when you bulk up, you're putting on muscle. So, I don't know, what would we say if you're, if you're eating lots of cakes? What, what expression could we use for that? Don't be such a fatty. <laughs> I think you're, you're put, piling on the pounds. Piling <laughs> on the pounds. Yeah, that's it, exactly, yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't want to pile on the pounds. I want to. I want to bulk up. Uh, but also, if I if I didn't want to bulk up, I just wanted to look more toned and have more muscle definition. What uh, could I say then? I want to get ripped. I want to mm. get ripped. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I want to get ripped. Yeah, or to tone up. I want to tone up. So when you are fully bulked up and you're a, a meathead, do you think that you'll be able to fool around with a lot more women? You never know. You know, not all girls are shallow and they're looking for big meatheads to fool around with. Um, but it's possible that my, I'll have a, a, better, a better sex life <laughs> when, I've, when, I've, when I've bulked up. What do you think? Perhaps, perhaps, yeah. Um, I don't know. Have you got the Have you got the moves though? Because along with the looks, you've got to have the moves. So I don't know. When you were When you were younger and you were learning how to how to flirt, um, were you Were you able to score? To be honest, I've never really had the moves, but I've got the moves, and that's why I'm uh, hitting the gym. <laughs> Moobs being man boobs, moobs. So this, this meaning of fall around is to engage in some kind of naughty 
sexual activity with uh, with someone of the opposite sex or, or someone of the same sex, depending on your preferences. Did you did you fool around much when you were at school, Charlie? Ah, so you're meaning fooling around in misbehaving, not being a good child? Yes. Uh, did you mess around? Did you waste time in lessons not concentrating? I imagine you were a, you were a goody two-shoes. You're actually on the money there. I, uh, I was a goody two-shoes. I did not fool around much. I was a bit too scared to fool around. But I was with friends who did fool around a lot in a non-sexual meaning. Um, they would misbehave and I would stand there being good but pretending to be the friend that is also misbehaving. So you were like the, the innocent bystander just observing the, the naughtiness? Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Okay. I like, I like the phrase as well, uh, you're on the money, to be on the money, that's quite nice. So it means like when, when another person it has said something correct and you want to say, yeah, that's exactly it. You've hit the nail on the head. You can say you're on the money. You're, you're just right. I was actually quite a naughty kid myself and uh, I was falling around a lot and to, to, the, to the point where I wasn't really learning much. I didn't want to take up new things. Um, so now that I'm older, I really want to, to take up these new things. Like I've just taken up the guitar. Ah, you've taken up the guitar. So you've, you've picked it up? Well, yeah, I have picked it up, yeah. But I've started uh, playing the guitar. I've started occupying my time by doing it. So it's when you, when you start a new hobby. Ah, okay. So could I say I've taken up the coffee mug? Uh, no, you could say I've taken up coffee bean picking. <laughs> uh, that, that's a hobby, you know, in like in the jungles in, in Brazil or something. Maybe you go there and you go coffee bean um, picking. Do you pick coffee beans? I, yeah, I mean, I suppose you do. I mean, that's a very, it's a bit of a bizarre hobby, but I think uh, it would be quite an interesting one. It's, it's more exotic than taking up the guitar. Certainly is, certainly is, yeah. <laughs> I've recently taken up learning German. That's a good example, isn't it? To okay. take up a new language. Yeah, yeah. And so you could say taking up learning German. Could you also say I've taken up German? Yeah, I've taken up German. I've taken up uh, Japanese. I've taken up arts and crafts. My dad's recently taken up art, actually. As you saw in the, the last live lesson we did, uh, he's, he's taken up um, yeah, drawing all sorts of, of interesting things. I like that phrase as well, all sorts of something. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, like a variety, all varieties of uh, art. Yeah, so your father's just taken up art and uh, you have taken up uh, a bit more travel this year, haven't you? You're excited to go somewhere. I am, yeah. With you, actually. Yeah, with that's amazing. With me, with me, yeah. Where are we going? We're going to Pisa in Italy. And uh, I believe if Charlie has the guts, we're going to hire scooters and go on a, an adventure on these Vespers, on the Italian scooters over to a, a seaside town. I, I've, got, I've got guts. I've got guts. What are you talking about, Harry? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I know, I know you've got guts. But Charlie, one thing we're going to have to do um, is maybe take some Italian lessons like before we go to brush up on on our Italian don't you think yeah I mean I've actually been trying to brush up on my Italian but uh, your Spanish could come in handy couldn't it yeah yeah it could come in handy yeah apparently there's like 80% lexical similarity between uh, Italian and Spanish 
So it could definitely be really useful. But it's, apparently there's loads of false friends. So I could try and say something, but it has a totally different meaning. So it could be quite confusing. But yeah, we're gonna have to brush up on those Italian skills, aren't we? How, how are your lessons going? The, the lady that I started with actually moved away and changed jobs, I think. Or she, <laughs> she just said that. <laughs> yeah, she went into uh, early retirement. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I can't brush up on my Italian there. But we should just clarify that brushing up on something is improving an already existing skill. So mm. for me, I'm not there yet so I can't really say that I'm brushing up on my Italian. Um, I could say I'm brushing up on my Spanish to go to Spain next year. I have a tiny level of Spanish but my Italian is a little bit uh, non-existent. Yeah it's true yeah and you could use it with other things not just with languages um, I'd say golf I, mean, I haven't played golf in donkey's years uh, but if I was to play, I would definitely have to brush up on my swing because, God, it's been so long since I last played. Okay, okay, yeah. You have to dust the cobwebs off. Yes, yeah. Dust the cobwebs off my old, uh, my granddad's old clubs. Yeah, meaning the, meaning the spider's um, webs. So, Harry would have to brush up on his golf if he had a meeting with an important person in a company and they had a golf day. If you were to have a, a day out with um, an important person to impress them on the golf course, would you, uh, would you prepare yourself in any other way? Well, I'd certainly spruce up. Um, and if I were a woman, I'd probably slap on some makeup. You don't slap on makeup being a man? I don't. I don't, but I know you do uh, occasionally for, for YouTube <laughs> videos and for Stacey. Do, do you and Stacey still have those um, those strange evenings where you put on makeup and parade up and down in front of the mirror in her dress? You know what? I'm speechless. Don't know what to say to you. Thought you weren't going to uh, come out with this on uh, on camera. Um, no, we uh, we don't uh, slap on any makeup on Charlie's uh, Charlie's gob anymore. Um, those days are past. Yeah, yeah, those days are over. Have you taken up some some new um, some new hobbies? As I said, every Thursday. <laughs> but if you are slapping on makeup, Charlie, is it? Does that suggest that you're maybe doing it carefully? Or? You are not. You're doing it very quickly. For example, if we are running late, then I can say to Stacy, don't do it here. Slap on some makeup in the car. <laughs> yeah, you see so many girls driving around, in this country anyway, slapping on makeup in the mirror. It's ridiculous. Yeah, they should actually have a law, shouldn't they? They've brought a law in for phones. Maybe they do. It's anything that's distracting your hands. I believe so, yeah. But yeah, so. A message to everyone, don't don't slap on makeup when you're driving. Danger. But can we can we use slap on with just makeup? Um not no, we can use it in other things as well. If it uh, we use it with liquids and when it when we apply liquids to a surface, be it our face or a wall or something. So if um, my Walls needed a lick of a lick of paint, so a little bit of paint. Uh, what could I? What could? What could you say to me, Charlie? You could say I need to slap some paint on the wall. Yeah. You could say and um, I need to slap another coat on quickly. Hmm. Yeah. That's nice. So you've actually used an object there as well. Slap another coat of paint on the wall. Oh my god, the other yesterday, Charlie, I went for a really long bike ride and it was really hot, it was piping hot, and I forgot to slap on any suntan lotion. So I'm really burnt. My my arms are super burnt and my face is too, and I'm yeah, it hurts a little bit. Ouch. So you should have slapped on some sun cream. And slap is actually probably coming from like the action of slap, right? 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the slap. Or at least we could remember it that way. So, which verb to slap? Slap on. Thank you for joining us for our phrasal verbs with stories. We hope you have enjoyed that. And that's not all. We don't want you to forget these. We want you to use them right away. So get in the comments section and write us a creative example using all of these phrasal verbs from today. To spruce up. To fool around. To bulk up. To take up. To brush up on. To slap on. And the best example gets a shout out in our next live lesson. Good luck. Bye for now. Click here to subscribe and be notified of when we are next live. If you want to live, eat and breathe real English, then come and stay with us on our own immersion course. And lastly, if you want more classes from us every week, then come over to Patreon to join our loyal members. P.S. Give us a cheeky thumbs up. Go on, you know you want to.